Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are dealing with negative numbers in octal system. But how do we define an octal number? Let's define the octal number in comparison with uh, the very familiar decimal numbers. A decimal number has base 10 which means that it uses all available digits from 0 to 9. Those digits are 10 in number. An octal number, on the other hand, uses only 8 digits. These digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This means that there are no octal numbers with uh, the digit 8 or the digit 9. How can we convert from octal to decimal? Converting from octal to decimal is very basic. Let's take for example an octal number 75 and uh, let's try to convert it in decimal. We are writing this uh, octal number as uh, a sum of powers. So 7 times 8 to the power of 1 plus 5 times 8 to the power of 0. 8 to 1 or 8 to 0 represents uh, the powers of the base. So, in this case, the number 75 in the octal system is equal to the 61 in the decimal system. Now we have to deal with uh, the conversion from a decimal to octal system. In order to do that, we have uh, to divide continuously with uh, the number 8 and uh, take the remainder until the quotient is zero. So, let's take for example the decimal number 61 and uh, we need to convert it into octal. So, first we divide 61 with 8. The quotient is 7 and uh, the remainder is 5. Then, we divide again the quotient with 8, so the new quotient is 0 and the reminder is 5, is 7. As we see, 7 is uh, the most significant digit in our octal number and uh, 5 is uh, the less significant digit in this octal number, so 61 in decimal system becomes 75 in octal system. Now, what about negative octal numbers? There are two ways to display these uh, negative octal numbers. The first, uh, which is uh, the most uh, familiar way, is uh, by using uh, a plus and a minus symbol exactly as we do with the decimal numbers. And uh, the second is by using the eighth complement representation. Of course, we have uh, to explain what is this eight complements in representation. The eighth complement of the octal number 3, for example, is uh, what we need to add to 3 in order to get 8. 8 is uh, the base of uh, the octal system. Alright? So, we start from this number. But uh, as 8 does not exist in octal system, we are using the maximum number the maximum one-digit number, in this case, which is 
7. So, we subtract the number 3 from 7 and the result is 4. And we add a unit to this 4 and the result is 5. So, this is uh, what uh, we expected because uh, 5 plus 3 equals 8. So, 5 is the 8th complement of the octal number 3. Let's take another example. This time we want the 8th complement of uh, the octal number 65. In order to do this, and calculate the 8th complement of uh, 65, we needed to add to 65 something, and this something is the 8th complement, in order to get 78. But uh, the maximum number, the maximum octal number with two digits is uh, 77. So we're starting from that. We subtract 65 from 77 and we are getting 12. And then we add one unit to 12. And finally we are getting the 8th complement of the octal number 65 which is 13. Now we know that the eighth complement is, uh, let's dive into the concept of negative octal numbers. The first one presentation is uh, the unsigned octal representation, where uh, no negative numbers exist. So, in this case, if we take, for example, the one digit octal numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 then all these numbers represent positive numbers in the decimal system and the zero, of course. But of course we have uh, the edge complement octal representation, which uh, may be used for uh, representing negative numbers too. In this case, we have to define a rule. This rule says that if we have an octal number that's starting from 0, 1, 2, or 3, then this octal number in 8th complement representation is a positive number. On the other hand, if the number starts with 4, or 5, or 6, or 7, then this number in 8th complement representation is a negative number. So, in this case, for example, the number 3 in octal system represents the plus 3 decimal number, but the number 6 in octal system represents the number minus 2 in decimal system. So, on one hand we have uh, the unsigned octal representation and on the other hand we have uh, the edge complement octal representation. The edge complement representation is uh, very useful when we needed to make additions or subtractions between uh, octal numbers. Let's take an example in order to be clear. Let's take the octal number 65 and we need to convert it and we know that we have already converted and this is a number equal to 53 in decimal system. But uh, this conversion is valid in uh, the unsigned representation. If we take the same number 65 in octal system and uh, we're trying to convert it uh, using the 8th complement representation, 
then we have uh, to notice that uh, this number starts with 6. So, if we have in mind the rule that says that if a number starts from uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3, then this number is positive. And if it starts from 4, 5, 6, and 7, then this number is negative. We know that uh, 65 in octal system is a negative number. Now, we, if we needed to convert it to a decimal number, we know that uh, the decimal is negative and uh, the magnitude of this decimal, so the absolute value, this means the absolute value of this uh, decimal, is actually the 8th complement of 65. What we already calculated, the 8th complement of uh, uh, the octal number 65, and we know that uh, this equals to 13. So, 65 in octal system equals to minus 13 in decimal system. And this is the way we express negative numbers in octal system. Here is a table that uh, shows all the two digital octal numbers in the uh, 8th complement representation. On the left hand side of this table, we see all the positive numbers and on the right hand, all the negative numbers. We see that all the positive numbers starting from 0, 1, 2 or 3 and uh, the negative numbers are starting for, with 4, 5, 6 or 7. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.